So number one, we're going to start with the fundamentals. So I'm going to take you from like daycare all the way to our PhD today when it comes to social media and the different systems and technologies we use. So we're going to start at the ground up. So we're going to start at the fundamentals. If you already have a social media game, then this is not going to be super important to you, but you might have still some takeaways. So let's talk about a headshot. You need to choose a photo for all of your brands that looks like you and is the best photo you have ever taken. And then you're going to take about 46 of those and then you're going to find the best and then you're going to put it through 17 apps. And here are two apps and I absolutely love using. You might want to write this down. If you are a guy, do not write down Perfect 365 because you are going to add up with some makeup on your face. So ladies, Perfect 365 is the app where I edit my pictures. Like sometimes I look super tired, but it's a great photo. I just look tired. Um, if that's the case, I'll just put it through Perfect 365 and edit it super quick. I look like sometimes I don't even have makeup on. And when I'm done with Perfect 365, I literally have full blown makeup on my face. So that is for ladies. For gentlemen and ladies all together, especially if you're taking a photo from far away or so, I use Darkroom. So these are the two apps, Perfect 365 and Darkroom. And hopefully my team can put these two in the chat for you guys to edit my photos. So now when you have a headshot, I want you to use that headshot absolutely everywhere. I want you guys to put it into the chat so it nails it into your head. Where do I want you to use it? I want you to use it as your profile photo on every single uh, social media platform that you have. I want you to have it on your yard signs. I want you to have it in your email signature. I want you to have it on your own.com. I want you to have it everywhere until everybody can recognize you. They know your name. They know what you do. Because if they know your name and they can recognize you and they know what you do, they can find you on Google. Okay. So what we are trying to achieve with when it comes to social media is to be recognizable. As long as I can tell people who I am, which is Gogo or Gogo Becky, what I do, which is realtor or entrepreneur today, right? And social media, they call me the social media queen of real estate. Um, then they can find me. So when it comes to the headshot, you're going to take one photo. It's going to be the best photo you ever taken. You're going to put it through 17 apps. And when you're ready, you're going to put it where? I want you guys to put it in the chat box. Everywhere. Good job. That's exactly. So I don't want, if I go to your.com and then I go to your Instagram and then I go to your LinkedIn, I don't want to see a different photo. You want to be able to build brand recognition and that comes through face recognition. So if I ask you this, close your eyes. Did you close your eyes? Okay. Now imagine the Home Depot logo. Can you see it? If I said Starbucks, can you see it? If I said Target, can you see it? If I said Best Buy, can you see it? That's brand recognition. The reason why you can see that is because Best Buy looks exactly the freaking same in Alabama than it does in Kentucky, right? So that's what you want to achieve. If someone Googles you and they go to your LinkedIn or they go to your .com or they go to your Facebook or your Instagram, or your TikTok or YouTube or whatever, they need to be certain that they are on the same page. In order for them to be certain, your image has to be the same on every single profile. Make sense? Next one is the brand name. So it's not just the image, it's the brand. It's the image with the brand that they need to recognize, right? Today, I own nine different companies. So some of them I listed right here. Gogo's Real Estate is my first one. That's how I started the madness. I started Gogo's Real Estate on Facebook and Gogo's Real Estate on Instagram. And that's how the madness started. Over time, as one person can do many things, I became Gogo Betki. I also own Gogo Betki, Gogo .com, all of the Gogo Betki things, right? The next thing that I started is Gogopreneur, which is my podcast TV show slash um, radio show. So we are live on TV, on podcasts, and on radio under the Gogopreneur brand. We went live last Wednesday and became number seven in Romania while I was touring, which is super exciting. On the Gogopreneur show, I do everything entrepreneurial. So I interview people who've been where I want to go, super small people. You are welcome to come and listen in. I would love to have you. So when it comes to the brand, right, you want to have the image with the name, and you want to make sure that people can recognize you and they are certain that they are on your brand. The next one is don't spend time on logos, guys. So you remember when I closed your eyes and I made you imagine the Best Buys and the Starbucks and the Targets? The reason why they have to use logos is because they are not a personal brand. So if you're a personal brand, your brand is your image and your name. If you are a business brand like a Best Buy or a Target or a Starbucks, then yes, you can use a logo. Other than that, do not even spend time on a logo. I never use it. I don't need to. People are never going to recognize me with a logo.